Uh, we are here for a federal court hearing on the Asher versus Brown case. Uh, this is part of the settlement agreement proceedings, and since we have a settlement instead of a court decision, it, it will be over a two-year period to have all the details worked out. And we got more than we were asking for, and this is all part of the process where things are being discussed by the California Department of Corrections, the magistrate judge, uh, the CDC attorneys, California Department of Correction attorneys, and our uh, very talented legal team uh, for the Ashker plaintiffs. Can you tell me a little bit about this so-called settlement and what went wrong? Now, we understand that the prisoners at uh, Pelican Bay initiated a hunger strike to yes. protest solitary yeah. confinement. Is that correct? Yes. In the, uh, in the uh, complaint that was initially written, uh, we were asking for a cap of 10 years on solitary. We got more than that with the settlement. We got a cap of five years, and we can reduce it further if the CDC agrees to that. Um, when this complaint was filed and the news broke and we began to get our publicity together in a big way, um, it came out that a lot of <laughs> California Department of Corrections officials didn't know that there was so, people had been in for decades at Pelican Bay. Now these Bay. are people, excuse me, these are people that run the, the California... And they're in Sacramento, they're not at... These, they uh, never isolated. go to the prison. They don't read the reports. They many don't them, know. Many of them don't. Right. right. That's not incompetence. That's something beyond incompetence. Well, it, see, it shouldn't be such a big state. You need areas that are governed by people who know each other. It's becoming really, really obvious through this struggle, the prison struggle, that people are not in communication. Sacramento is not in communication with these isolated prisons. So they but basically do they what they are want. now. <laughs> yeah, but they, so basically what you're saying is that the local wardens and, and the, the, the guards, are the running guards the run the prisons yeah. and basically do what they want. Yeah. Well, they are running it like they run prison camps overseas that they've just come back from running. Uh, you know, it, it's not nice. So you're talking um, about prison camps like Abu Ghraib? Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, that was a Pennsylvania guard that was doing the high level of abuse and went on trial for it at Abu Ghraib. We have now basically a negotiation process over the settlement because people, someone, did ask that the guards check for suicide. It was okay, initially well, supposed to be a suicide watch. Is that right? Yes. Um, what happened with that is that uh, the Coleman case uh, that formed in the 1990s was a case that was trying to deal with the abuse by guards of the mentally handicapped. And, the, see, when Reagan closed the mental facilities in California in the 70s, those people went to prison. That's not a good place for the mentally handicapped people. Um, so the Coleman case came out of that to try to solve it, <clears throat> that they had to have adequate care, and uh, the Plata case was about adequate medical care for all prisoners in California that was sadly lacking. Well, when the Coleman case was won, the settlement demanded that uh, mentally handicapped people needed to be treated humanely and uh, that there needed to be suicide checks every uh, half hour to 45 minutes of people who had been newly put into the administrative segregation units, which are uh, the first isolation and most severe 
because the suicide rate was very, very high. And so the Coleman case demanded that there be suicide checks. Okay. The guards okay. never did them. Yeah. They just sat back. Um, the, you know, if they did do them, it was so ineffective that they were, it was non-existent. So when the, this settlement of the Asher case came along in August of this year, uh, the guards at Pelican Bay, some of them, not all of them, got really mad about this and retaliated. They retaliated by ordering a special, very loud unit that is attached to the door of the cell. And if you hit it with a wand, which they're given, it makes a, a sharp noise. The pod doors are made out of heavy steel and they are very noisy when they're open and closed. This is awful, uh, screechy sound that happens every half hour. <coughs> this kind of stuff has been agreed to by CDC now that they've found out about it, how noisy it is up there uh, at Pelican Bay. It's a little different from other prisons. Uh, Pelican Bay is mainly uh, steel and uh, very echoey, and the metal banging is torture. And it goes on over loudspeakers. They turn the loudspeakers up so that this noise is broadcast. And that's really malicious. This has uh, been an issue that we've been addressing uh, for the last 148 days. These men have been missing sleep and are definitely being tortured. And uh, Hold on a minute. Just yeah, for our, sure. our, our listening and viewing audience, could you actually explain in your own words how it is that this so-called suicide watch has in actuality become a form of torture? What's yeah. wrong with the cops looking to see if somebody had hanged themselves, for instance. This is what they might say. How would you answer that? The suicide checks are done so rapidly that the guards are running by the cells, banging on them and going to the next one. That's a giveaway in itself that... They're not uh, really looking for a suicide. That they're not looking to check the uh, well-being of the prisoner. And uh, if they do if they wake them up they shine bright lights in their faces and they bang all the way down the line of cells and they have their keys uh, attached to uh how do you call it a uh, pepper spray can so that i mean they could put them anywhere else on their body but they attach them near the can so that when they walk they bang you know they're making as much noise as they possibly can um this is, as I said, it's not all of the guards. Um, but, well, a lot of them don't like doing these checks because it's a lot of work. I mean, they used to be able to sit there and eat pizza. You know, they can't do that anymore if they're running up and down all the pods and checking them. So the guards uh, put in a uh, requisition to the state for more guards to be hired. <laughs> I mean, it gets ludicrous to think how mean they can be. Um, I don't know. When a guard goes to work for $70,000 a year in California, starting pay, and in Kentucky, as we received a phone call one time from a, uh, an anonymous guard, uh, he said, I went to work for 12000 a year, and I'm up to fourteen now. And there's no hope of going any higher. Of course, the cost of living is different, uh, but not much. Um, cost of living in California has shot up recently, but uh, 70000 a year was starting salary 10, 12 years ago for guards here. What is the demand? What are you asking? Okay, for? today we're asking for a stop to this sleep deprivation. We need all of these prisons investigated. Lancaster's bad, Chino's bad, Corcoran's bad. One thing that has happened since they started taking people out of Pelican Bay because they'd been there way too long and putting them in other prisons in general population 
is a lot of those men who wrote the lawsuit are now in other prisons, and they're asking those prisons formally to... Uh, they want formal commitments to have education, proper medical care, decent food, uh, reviews, sentence reviews, this kind of stuff, but mainly education, medical care, and decent food, and clean housing. You know, the guards, uh, prisoners aren't given enough time to clean their showers and things like that. So you've got to have guards doing some of this work. They don't want to do it, obviously. I'm Penny Schoner. I'm in Prison Activist Resource Center in Oakland, and I work at, uh, in the Prisoner Hunger Strike Coalition, and uh, I answer a lot of mail, <laughs> and I do legal visits. We ain't gonna stop until the prisoners can sleep. No, we ain't gonna stop until the prisoners can sleep.